hey guys welcome back to my channel uh, if you're not already subscribed to my channel be sure to do so if you like this kind of development content I'm, I'm doing this every single week I'm also dropping the occasional tutorial and stuff like that to show you guys um, how I make certain assets or how I do certain things so if you're interested in all that kind of stuff make sure to subscribe um, this video is going to be all about the simulator I'm making again this is kind of this is kind of like a devlog I suppose um, which is the second devlog uh, for this uh, project so I've added quite a few in new things we've got a new zone and I have didn't sh fully show this uh, zone off in the previous video so I'm going to do that as well there's also a couple of new assets here as you see we've got a barrel we've got some crates and we've got a uh, bridge and we have different kinds of platforms now you don't really see this often in simulators but I added little crevices here onto the hills just to add a little bit of uh, detail and uh, depth to the hills it's quite unique um, has a really good effect which I'm going to show you in a second but this is pretty much the whole um, asset pack as you can see right here you have a couple of plants trees um, it's going to expand obviously as I go on but that's it so far really now before I go any further uh, I got a couple of comments asking me how I made these kind of trees as you can see they are flat so they are actually planes I'll show you real quick roughly what I did in blender so if you hop in blender you click add mesh plane and then you kind of press s to scale and then press y and then push it out make it lengthy and then I press up go I press tab to go into edit mode and then control R to add a loop cut down the middle and then you simply just drag this out and then add more loop cuts if you want and then you kind of do this as you can see it's pretty simple you just mess around with that and you can kind of get uh, this kind of effect once you've you know curved it added a little bit more detail and that kind of stuff it's really simple you just got to mess around with it and you can get a similar um, kind of look to it okay so now I briefly showed off in the previous video a kind of like a speed build of this map but I didn't kind of uh, show it off like the overall look to it I obviously tweeted an image of this a few days ago if you follow me on Twitter uh, you would have already seen but this is kind of like the uh, the overall kind of style I'm going for as you can see this unique kind of um, let me show you here like this kind of edge on the uh, little hills has this nice effect onto them um, which you don't really usually see in uh, simulators which is I think turned out really nice really as you can see here adds that little bit of detail and removes kind of like that that flat look on the side and then we also have this second zone here which is more under construction at the moment it's not fully done um, neither is that zone really but as you can see this one's practically like half finished um, but yeah this is kind of like a similar scene um, the way I'm designing the maps is that so it kind of makes sense so if I go all the way over here which I recommend you guys do in your games as well because you want your maps to make sense uh, really so as you can see you go down a hill here and then you kind of have your uh, river here and if you look over here obviously you come down a hill here so your character will be teleported here as you can see you'd be going up there which would look at essentially give the illusion that you you kind of uh, teleported down there really and then obviously you had the river flowing which is obviously on the side over here as well which kind of builds onto the uh, onto the uh, world which a lot of people don't really kind of uh, remember to do that the maps kind of just don't make sense which I guess for simulators it doesn't really matter but um, personally to me it does I think adds a, a really cool effect to the game or like a subtle kind of um, feel to it 
When uh, people usually make games, they kind of leave out the subtle details, which usually end up being the uh, best kind of details you can add. Um, for example, these small little uh, stones, they're very, very low poly, and I've disabled the collisions on them so they don't actually affect the player in the world, but they just remove kind of like this, uh, this empty feel on these spots here. So it's kind of easy to... Um, kind of fill in areas that look empty really because I see a lot of people that post in uh, the creations tab in my discord the work looks great and then but they leave the ground completely empty so they look the they make the surrounding look great and then the bit in the middle is just completely empty it's just a bunch of empty space so learning how to like uh, fill in empty space is kind of uh, it would be in your uh, best interest really because uh, it just increases the uh, overall appearance of your uh, your game I've been getting several questions on how to make uh, stuff like bushes really easily and um, it's uh, very simple you just hop in blender I'm just gonna delete this this is kind of like what I do so it's very very quick so for low poly things you want to just click add mesh and then icosphere you can expand it, you can stretch it out, you can do whatever you want. And then go into edit mode by pressing tab. And then kind of selecting these bottom faces. Removing these faces. And then you kind of go face shade smooth. So it's smooth. And then you can go to mesh, transform, and randomize. Adds a little bit of a random effect to it. You can drag out vertices, you can do whatever you want. And that's essentially your uh, bush, really. And then you can kind of add um, little, these small leaves. As you can see here, they're just small planes. You just bring that out to create the leaf shape, like so. And then you kind of just copy and paste them all around. Obviously, I'm rushing this, so it's not going to look great, but, you know, you get the idea. Very simple, but very, uh, very aesthetically pleasing, I guess you would say. But yeah, um, let me know if you guys want to see kind of like a, a mixture of development and then like tutorials in the, uh, in the videos of development. So I'll show you real quick exactly how I made specific assets and stuff like that. I feel like that would be more helpful and, uh, it kind of shows you how you can use them to make nice looking maps. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, let me know in the uh, comments below. You guys seem to enjoy the previous one on this um, this kind of simulator project. I think it's a good way to brush out easy content, fast content, and uh, you know it's, it's visually appealing and it kind of teaches you on the go. So if you're uh, if you like that kind of content, you know make sure to like the video. And uh, yeah, peace.